What's going on everyone? In this YouTube video, I wanted to share how to add a green screen overlay in DaVinci Resolve. So to make it short and simple for you, in this video, you're gonna learn how to add a background, how to crop out the green screen in DaVinci Resolve. So stick around. All right, so I have an example of a real style video that I'm doing here, and I'm gonna start from scratch. So I wanna show you my process from start to finish, how I make a Instagram reel or a TikTok style video, completely raw footage all the way to the final product. First thing that you'll wanna do is resize or position this video. As you can see, I am a little bit vertically, I'm a little bit to the side, so I'm going to change the uh, rotation angle. I'm gonna mess around with 270 or 90 degrees. Perfect, and I'm going ahead and increase the size of this. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is grab a template that I've created in Canva and layer it on top of the video. I'm gonna stretch it across the whole video. And then I'm going to now size my video to fall under these certain measurements here. Perfect. Now the next thing you wanna do, and this is probably the most important part, is to go into effects library at the top, click on open FX. You're gonna find 3D Keyer and just drag it all the way on top of the video file. The next thing you want to do is hover over to your little preview window and there's a little carrot symbol all the way to the bottom left hand corner. You're going to click that and you're going to click open FX overlay if it's not already on it as you see here. Then you're going to go all the way to the mixer here, click on effects and then click on this little uh, add button. So it's a little like dropper with a plus icon and you'll want to click that there. Now here is the fun part. You're simply going to take your mouse and move it over the green surface area. Now you wanna be careful not to cross into either your shirt, your hat, or your face because you'll see this is what will happen here. And so this is almost telling the computer this is what I want to remove from here. And if I draw a line all the way through, the computer's having a difficulty time figuring out what to remove and what to keep essentially. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and undo that here. Again, I'm going to drag the 3D keyer over the file, make sure that the open FX overlay is on the preview window, click on the little dropper here with the plus button, and then now I'm gonna simply make X's in the green area. And again, you don't wanna make sure you hit anything outside of the green area. Now, once you've gotten to this stage, there is still one last part that you need to do, and that's called de-spill. So if you look here to the right, D spill is unchecked and once I check it things start to really clean out and you really just start to just see the main person which in this case is me now that we've cropped ourselves out now is the fun part to really get creative and tell the story of this um, I'm going to use a picture of clouds that I have here and I'm simply going to layer it behind me move it all the way through I'm going to make the clouds a little bit bigger. And just like that, it really is that simple to add a green screen uh, removal or change the background. And again, this is the whole perks of a green screen. I can put myself realistically in any place that I want and really tell that story. Next thing I'm gonna do is add captions, add a title. Next thing I'm gonna do is add some text. So I'm gonna make this IG Reels Hack. I'm simply going to make it a little bit smaller. I might change the font. I'm a huge fan of this Hollywood font. And I'm probably gonna change the color. I'm gonna pick a screen color and I'm gonna use the same blue that's on my Dodger hat. I'm also gonna give it a little bit of a drop shadow and I'm gonna give it a little bit of a stroke too. Then I'm going to move this up here just slightly above my head. And I'm going to see how it looks. Awesome. So again, I hope you found this video helpful. It really isn't that complicated to add a green screen on your videos, especially for social media. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, like, and share. And if you have any other difficulties, if you have anything else out there that you want to learn more about, whether that's editing or video production or any of my videos, 
uh, please leave some suggestions down below. I'm always looking to serve uh, you guys out there and everyone listening. I really appreciate your support. So thank you from the bottom of my heart and please stick around next week for some more videos.